Hello everybody, my name is Ray. Welcome to the Evangelical Dark Web. Today we're going to be talking about Greg Johnson once more, Revoice and Side B Theology once again. We got a lot of uh, updates to cover. First, I want to talk about a big article that I wrote about Mark Yarhouse. He is one of the key players behind why Big Eva is going gay. So there is a straight line from Mark Yarhouse the Gospel Coalition to Revoice. And it starts with Mark Yarhouse, who I wrote an article about, and you should check that out on evangelicaldarkweb.org. The second major update is we're going to talk about in this video. Uh, Greg Johnson did an interview for uh, a ministry called Apologia, which is not affiliated with uh, James White or Jeff Durbin. It is apparently Scandinavian, which, you know, I guess when it comes to ministries, not all names are as original as Evangelical Dark Web, but I digress. But nonetheless, uh, he said this in an interview, and it's just quite fascinating to see where Side B Theology ultimately lands. It seems okay to recommend single gays to stay single but what about gay people that are already in relationships maybe married and have kids what should the church recommend to them yeah if if a gay couple with gay family um you know came to jesus in my church um uh, my goal would not to be to break them apart my you know, i think in discipleship really the, the goal would be to desexualize the relationship um, because the love they have for one another is not the problem. <laughs> you know, that's not sinful. Uh, the commitment they have to one another is not sin. You know, it's, it's, it's sexual sexualization of that. And so, and, and in all honesty, with a lot of gay couples, you know, when they've been together for a number of years, they're, they're not very sexually active. Um, some are, but a lot aren't. Um, you know, I know one guy told me that, you know, after the first 10 years, the sex just got boring. Um, and so his partner, the most they ever do is snuggle in front of the television, but, um, but they're still there for each other. And so that would be my, my, my direction in that kind of situation. So that's the big clip that made the rounds. And it's, it's very telling of what Greg Johnson believes the solution and repentance looks like. He just believes it looks like desexualizing the relationship. But he's perfectly fine with a romantic homosexual relationship. He has no qualms about that. It's only the dirty that Greg Johnson, in largely, to a large degree, side B theology really only considers the act of sodomy to be sinful. That is basically... The unifying factors, they agree that the act is sinful. They don't believe that desires are sinful. They are pretty split on the identity of homosexuality and transgenderism because all of that's kind of the same. And, uh, and another aspect which does not get talked about as much is the romantic uh, aspect of homosexuality. Side B Theology has no coherent answer to this, and Greg Johnson is a pariah in the Presbyterian Church in, in America. He has announced his intentions for his church, Memorial Presbyterian Church, uh, or Memorial Presbyterian Church in America, PCA, in the St. Louis area, to leave the PCA, so his church is bent on leaving the PCA. And this this is who Greg Johnson is. He's a pariah in the PCA. And this is why he's a pariah in the PCA. He's not counseling repentance here. He doesn't actually believe homosexuality is a sin. He just believes the act is a sin. He just he doesn't believe that the desires are sinful. And that is at the crux of side B theology. That is at the crux of the error. And the Bible is pretty explicit that sinful desires are sin. You look at the Ten Commandments. Coveting is not an act. It's a heart issue. It's an attitude. You, you want what, what is not yours. 
It's not you taking what is not yours. That's thievery. That's also in the Ten Commandments. But it's a desire. So we see in the Ten Commandments, we see on the Sermon on the Mount, that desire is sin. Sinful desires are sin. We see that. With side B theology, they want to make an exception to this. They either want to make a blanket denial of that fact that I just made, but more specifically, they are interested in creating an exception to the rule, and that is homosexuality. Greg Johnson's not being honest. He wants to bend the rules of the Bible, and we just cannot allow that as Christians. We cannot allow that as the church. Um, that's not what we're called to do. So this... Uh, clip made the rounds on woke preacher clips who got it from someone else but you know that's how kind of how woke preacher clips works he does great work in sharing what uh, other people uh, bring to him and just putting it on blast and he's doing a great service to the church and sometimes we're going to use them on the evangelical dark web but a lot of times we come up with our own woke preacher clips to share with the class and our own cringe that's just so cringe that we got to share it Kind of like a bad smell. You smell something that smells bad and you just got to share it. This milk is completely sour. Ask my wife to smell it for me. Kind of that activity. But uh, if you like that kind of content, subscribe to the Evangelical Dark Web. Otherwise, like the video on your way out and let me know what you think about what I think. Have a blessed day and I will catch you on the next one.